Someone called the cops. Or perhaps someone already did. As now we turn to Baru at Admiral Baru, Comfy Panda VTuber. Earlier today, tweeting out, apartment complex is on fire. Stream is over early. Save the PC though. And then later in the day, we had the wildest turn of events coming from Susu. Saying, hello Baru, is there a reason you called police on me today for quote, making mean comments about you online? I know it was you since the officer gave me your name. You won't intimidate me from supporting the victims of Baru. Bunny. And being Bunny Ayu, aka Bunny Gif, with Susu adding, I'm making this public for the safety of myself and my loved ones. Keeping it private just enables this sort of harassment. The officers were very patient and kind towards me. Their job requires them to answer all calls, no matter how absurd. With Lena Lazar following up, I genuinely thought all was sorted and getting better. This is a yikes from me and Jenna Lynn Miaori tweeting, but they apologize and are going to therapy, right? What a joke. Baru would then take to Twitter, addressing this, saying, I genuinely do not have have any idea about this. I've been taking a nap after the fire alarm went off and woke up to this. For the record, my name is Public Knowledge. I'm hard at work trying to be the better person I said I wanted to be. Susu would follow this up with, well, my info isn't public, and if it was, I'd know exactly who put it out there since I can count on one hand the people who would know it, and you happen to live with one of them. That once again being Bunny Gif, with the latest development being Bob responding to this, I will gladly work with you to get to the bottom of this. Feel free to DM me your contact. This, of course, being a potentially still developing story at this time and a potential instance of impersonation, as once again, this is a story that continues to take some very wild and unexpected turns. Call in the lawyers as we are checking back in with Wachter, a VTuber agency expanding in Japan, China, and South America, and who had early last month doxed the full name for one of their suspended talents. That talent now fully independent and going by the name of Eileen. Noir, formerly Shino Lila with the Wachter Agency, a witch VTuber, who after the name docs had created this account with her first tweet simply reading as Pug, and now recently providing us this key visual art. And so while we have seen her full new redesign, days ago Eileen had also posted this notice saying, I would like to inform you the current situation of me, the person in charge of VTuber character Shino Lila, and a former member of Wachter Agency. Confirming now that their agency contract with Wachter has been canceled as of March 2022. And addressing the doxing document sent out by Wachter, saying it had exposed my real name that does not need to be exposed at all to the public. Furthermore, the content posted on that social media is not considered as a fact in my point of view. It terribly damaged my privacy and honor as it was one-sided information. It was very shocking for me and I feel terribly sorry for causing this concern to everyone. As of now, I have signed a lawyer contract to handle all of this matter. Moreover, I'd like to inform you that the lawyer has already contacted Wachter several times. However, at this moment, Wachter has not responded. As for future activities, I'd like to challenge myself once again to stream entertainment as Eileen Noir. And another former talent of the agency, now going by this new name independently, as Ryu Yumairi, the same day, had posted this statement saying, I am currently in poor physical condition and have been hospitalized in November of last year. Since I cannot perform proper activities in such poor physical condition, in February of this year, I decided to submit a medical certificate guaranteed by a doctor to indicate that I would like to terminate the contract with my agency. Regarding the termination of the agency contract, I'd like to resolve it gracefully through a lawyer. In the future, I would like to continue my activities at my own pace while recovering myself a little bit by bit as Yumairi Ryu. I would be very happy if everyone could welcome me with warm hugs. As very lastly, we also have this independent talent, Meiron Morino, formerly Kurari Rose with the Wachter Agency, also posting her statement at the same time, confirming also her contract with Wachter had expired on March 2nd, saying the reason for the termination of the contract is that Wachter and herself have cognitive differences and it is difficult to build a trust relationship, saying also that she has commissioned a lawyer and that while her intention was to continue her activities as the the VTuber Karari Rose that was restricted by Wachter along with access to her accounts. Adding that Wachter's notice of the suspension of her activities did not mention her termination, instead listing violations that she says she was not aware of. Saying further, she wishes still to negotiate with Wachter and is entrusting this to her lawyer and then offering her deepest apologies to her fans. Meanwhile, Wachter has its fans who, if they are not backing management, at least are backing the 
talent still with this agency. As even after these terminations, they actually launched a brand new generation with this fourth generation entitled as Gate. And speaking of VTuber agencies, uh, hey, it's once again Hololive. Now announcing the start of Hololive Meet. That's M-E-E-T with the official English post being posted to the Hololive subreddit saying last year we participated in various overseas events in countries such as Germany and the United States. This year we are planning on participating in even more overseas events. Listing off upcoming events here in the United States, Germany, and also Australia while also teasing that they may be creating their own events and will be using Galgura, Ayundo Risu, and Tokino Sora as the ambassadors for this project. A project that is already kicking off with Anime Central, set to begin on May 20th, and now announcing that Gura and Hall Live English talent Heikos Bells will be appearing at this convention with a virtual meet and greet. Right. And then soon after, we have Anime Boston, starting on May 27th, announcing the attendance of four Hall Live members, including that of Hall Live English's Oro Crony, who yesterday had tweeted out, guess who just got sick, baby, whoa. As earlier this morning, Hall Live would officially announce Crony has tested positive for COVID-19, saying her symptoms are not severe, but she will be taking a few days to recover, confirming she was not in close contact with other employees or talents, but Crony was knowingly in close contact with others and had expressed on stream that she said it was simply a matter of time before she expected to become sick herself. And others attending will, of course, be Series Fauna, Reiji Ali, and Pavolia Rene, that being the p -Fow VTuber of Hall Live Indonesia, as illustrated here by Pochi Sensei in both this light and dark versions, with a little bit of transparency seen there upon closer inspection. And further along, Tom Tomoy would show off both Rainy and also her new Kohai, Kobo, with this helpful Kohai offering as much support as she can. And now we turn to their senpai, Hall Live Indonesia's Irani EO15, updating us with, sorry guys, been busy all day, might not be tweeting much until tomorrow, but updating us with this oddity, heads up, my last two streams have been blocked because it was copyrighted, as the talent would name an anime opening, saying she did not sing or use this opening at all, and instead stating that the copyright was actually a part of her own background music. Saying further, I've been using this background music since the first time I debuted, and it was fine. I don't know if YouTube is being drunk again or not. Saying further, you okay, bro, and adding YouTube. Meanwhile, we are certainly getting our fill of Hall Live merchandise, with Hall Live not only announcing these t-shirts and tumblers for Hollow Remix Volume 2, but we also have news from Omocat, as the merchandise from their Hall Live English collaboration has been restocked once again, with most of the goods looking like they're not yet sold out, including merchandise for Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara, commenting on the news yesterday of Twitter being sold, saying, Twitter, you didn't tell me you were selling, I could have made you a great offer, and earlier saying, the bluebird could have been mine. We were so close to orange burb greatness, I swear. And you may have seen this classic image around, posted again by Sylvia Sorano, asking which is the superior made outfit, numbering these alterations from 1 to 12, and feel free to post your favorite down below, with burnt green tea offering us now the myth maids, giving us all of these wonderfully in-character alterations too, with one of those being worn by Hall Live English's Mori Calliope. Seen here saying, I've been on various underworldian adventures, but I'll see you guys soon. Oh boy, oh geez, we don't know anything about that. I guess that'll just stay a mystery for all of us here, as Callie also made this very exciting announcement, that being for a Mama Mori collab karaoke, tweeting, it's happening sometime this week, so Deadbeats, what do you imagine Mama Mori to look like? Draw your idea, and she'll choose her favorite to use during our future collab, giving some hints that she's also a reaper with witchy vibes, along with having pink hair, and that she lives in the Underworldian sky. And that's not all from Hall Live, as we actually check in with Shueisha, who is directly collabing with Hall Live and bringing these limited edition magazine manga covers, with one of these covers featuring Hall Live Japan's La Plus Darkness, seen here in this wild cosplay featured by Alavi, giving us a prime look at those big old horns, horns that were recreated by the Hyper Toy Creator Channel, as this YouTuber had tried to use the horns in everyday life. But as documented in this piece, the rules for you and me simply do not apply to YMD. With the talent being given this chance to show off
off more otherworldly powers. Now announced here, as we have a cross promotion with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, with plenty of features like cross promotional visuals and special programs, culminating in this eight person stream on May 3rd. Whole Lot Japan's Hosho Marine has also provided updates, saying she still has inflammation in her throat, but will still try to attempt some streaming. And yes, this work from Yowai is about the only safe for work artwork we could show of her today. While fan account Ichi Milk Bread shared with us this, the upcoming music video preview that was shown on one of her streams, featuring incredible anime production values off here. Can't wait. While we may have waited too long, as next up we have Hall of Japan's Minato Aqua taking part in this very prominent sushi conveyor belt chain collaboration, complete with limited edition goods. Goods so limited that Aqua herself couldn't get a hold of them, with reports saying there were lines at nearly every store and that most all goods were sold out within an hour, with even rural locations selling out their goods in the same day. And speaking further to anime conventions, here we have Anime Fest, announcing we are thrilled to welcome the members of Nijisaji English group Luxium to Anime Fest 2022, stating the Luxium members will be holding a Q&A panel on Saturday, July 30th, and then upon this announcement, also adding our website is experiencing more traffic than usual, and you may receive an error message. Adding also, they soon hope to have an update if there will be an official recording of the panel, a panel that will be attended by Nijisanji English's Shu Yamino, the famed Luxium sorcerer, providing his iconic signature here, helpfully adding a discount link and also where to send your questions, all while this talent is preparing for their upcoming birthday on May 1st, which will feature goods and a voice pack, including a tapestry, acrylics, keychain, and more. Further, Shu has not only celebrated 400,000 YouTube subscribers, but at the same time, 450,000 followers on Twitter. And here next, we have a very public platform, one of the biggest stages of the year, that being for V Carnival Volume 2, which will feature talents from loads of different agencies, and who during the event will be seen wearing these t-shirts. T-shirts that are now on sale for you to buy, along with tickets to the event. Here now, we have V Shoujo's Iron Mouse, dropping a flaming hot teaser here, and fully confirming her attendance with the Offkai Expo this weekend in her own schedule. And you may have remembered her posting, why does everyone want to suplex me? With Rusty Shackelford replying with this work, with Rusty now posting this Soul Calibur modification featuring not only V Shoujo's Silver Veil, but also V Yugen's Yoshi, as Luna Mir would share this regarding Silver Veil, saying, imagine using Silver Veil of all VTubers to try to claim as your own work. A more and more common happenstance, but with Lunamir sharing with us this positive update, with this gig no longer being available, Yoshi herself would comment, wow, they copied my art style, Kim's rigging, and Silver's model. And responding to Lunamir, who said all that for $80, to which Yoshi would reply, sounds like a pog deal, let's go. Meanwhile, we also have just one more piece here from Rusty involving Giri, the cooking VTuber, who is taking Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off to buy nuggies. And Giri is receiving all types of fun gifts from Throne, including the book How to Be an Adult, as well as the Ahegao Disease Face 3D Print Thigh High Stockings Cute Anime Lolita Cosplay Knee High Socks. Wow. But the day before, taking part in this, the Food Beast Kitchen League, with news of this dream even being posted to Yahoo Finance, giving us the headline, a VTuber will participate in a live cooking competition for the first time ever on Food Beast hit Twitch program, Kitchen League, which is certainly not at all making Geary incredibly nervous right now. No worries, Geary, you're gonna do fantastic. Oh my God, she is so dead, rip. And now fully alive here now, we have independent VTuber, Nike Neko, re-debuted with the help of Ciro at Okami Ciro, featuring here the live 2D VTuber model that they had created for this talent, along with this extra illustration for her, as Michael Cat now also has a companion, provided by Shinyo Yokino, who drew this mascot entitled Pond Chan, along with Yukino providing another illustration for her. As lastly today, we have Odozuki Heru, featured here with their own unique design and sharing I rigged Mike Neko Chan's live 2D model, even going so far as to give Pond Chan animation and also to allow Mike to sit down. Incredibly impressive work here. And now for some news very few of us expected. We turn now to Homestar Runner's Strong Bad at Strong Bad. 
said actual. Who, yes, yesterday was featured as this. That's right. This old internet mainstay is now a VTuber, complete with this very inventive hand cam. And for more VTuber news, we now turn to our co-host, Lady. Thanks, false Gamer Grandpa VTuber OG shows with us some cool behind the scenes of Shoost, which is a program that allows your live 2D model to be manipulated in order to fit the atmosphere of whatever scene it is you are trying to create. And this feature would not be unnoticed by Momote. I am I am actually not touching anything, okay? It's just the, the hand, see? As not only getting into view again, but also celebrating her birthday with not just her friends, but also her family, as shown here with Momo, her two sisters, and Master Roshi. And lots of artwork would be given to Momo in celebration of her birthday, such as this one from Pananoni, as well as this 3D model made for the stinkiest gamer out there by Kizusede, shown here in all of its 360 degree glory. I as well would participate by creating this little doodle for my friend Momo. And this work coming in from Oliver, who wishes not only Momo a happy birthday, but also Sugoi Nat. Cat Elf VTuber, she too celebrated her birthday with a chibi debut. And now, a moment of silence for our cringe dog VTuber buff. <laughs> Oh, uh, don't, don't worry. She's not gone or anything. In fact, one might say Buff Pup has become more powerful than ever as Play Asia would not only tweet to remind everyone that Buff Pup is in collaboration with them for some limited edition merch, but also that the Buff Pup has now expanded to multiple forms from a boneless doggo to a semi-human looking werewolf to full-on werewolf. These new looks would be showcased through her re-debut that not only showcased new models, but new established lore. The lore being in collaboration with Meriwether and his team, Buff's re-debut would also be coming in with some new scenes by Frontier, along with these new animated alerts coming from a real pup, and an updated look on her Twitch panels illustrated by Cherry Juice. Also, another congratulations on recently hitting over 60,000 followers on Twitch during the debut. This debut would also be celebrated with some fan works, such as this one coming from Bell Beeps, Ateru Tori wishing Buff a happy re-debut, along with myself. Though VTubers and viewers weren't the only ones hyped and interested in this re-debut, as shared with us by Demivore Hunter, tweeting out, was hanging out watching at Buff Pup's re-debut, and at some point, I don't think I've seen my dog go from lazy to so interested so quickly. Monster Girl VTuber and moderator and friend of the show, Uji, has also re-debuted showcasing their latest live 2D model saying I'm super proud of this it's the first model I've ever made and I'm so happy I can show you all now this in pair with their retro oh wait that, that's block game this in pair with their low poly model for a more retro gaming look showcased in tandem with their live 2D model at their debut and thank you lady for that very interesting news along with this very vital information and that'll be all for this episode please feel free free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news tips to our Discord. Join us on Twitch, where we record hours beforehand, and we'll have more. Things VTubers say for you, soon.